Let's talk about it, baby. Let's talk about it. It's almost 2024 and my still can't be for real. The Zeus Network goes viral for promoting a light skin versus dark skin competition. But then after receiving backlash, tries to recreate the flyer by saying chocolate goddesses versus caramel goddesses. But to be for real, I'm not even surprised. But that's just surface level. Let me tell you how up it really is. Not only did you promote dark skins versus light skins, the dark skin women came from the show Baddies. You know, the show where they fight for no reason. And the light skin women came from the show Wildin' Out. You know, the girls that just stand there and look cute and pretty. Y'all had one go here and y'all knew exactly what the f y'all were doing. So if you still think that colorism is not a real thing and that there are not hidden agendas in media, then f you are blind. I don't know. What do y'all think? Zeus, 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 Zeus. How much dumb can y'all be? Another episode of Bad vs. Wild coming out. And the biggest debate in black history, dark skin versus light skin. Where is the PR team? Who came up with this? All aboard the motherfucking Bullshit Express. Dark skin versus light skin. You mean to tell me that this is the best y'all could come up with? Listen, I know that people are like, Zeus pushes negative black stereotypes and blah, blah, blah. And all of that is true. But I was still willing to watch some of this shit. This under no circumstance will be getting any of my fucking attention. Not only because it's colorist, but because it's regressive. Like, as a society, we haven't even tackled colorism in the ways that we should tackle colorism to have anything fucking like this. And the incremental progress that we've made could be undone by doing bullshit like this. Be clear, this is not the only versus option Zeus could have done. It is in fact one of the ones that they could have sent under no circumstances are we doing. Also be clear that just because there are dark skin women participating, it doesn't mean that it's okay. So Zeus Network is getting dragged right now by their outdated light skin versus dark skin game show. And I saw people saying this was fake. No, 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 no. No, it was definitely real. The girls from One More Chance, they was definitely reposting it. Now a lot of people was pissed off by this because this is not just a little kiki. It's a very outdated and coloristic approach. And that's not a game to be it's attached with trauma. I see a lot of people are dragging Natalie Nunn because they feel like she's the main one behind us. Like, mm, no, 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 no. Now, Natalie does not always get her just dues for me, but we cannot put this all on her. This is all Nick Cannon right now. And then someone gonna say something. It's fake. You think Nick Cannon would actually be associated with this dumb stuff? <laughs> oh, baby, let's roll the tape. Games and it's that type of energy, but it's with the talent that you love to see on Zeus. So, and it's really, you know, that's why we put verses right in the middle. It's, it's, we talking about everything, er everything that could collide. <laughs> we gonna see that. <laughs> We going natural versus BBL. Oh, yeah. We going like dark skin. We going east coast versus west coast so you heard that right this was something that was about to be in different areas natural versus bba light skin versus dark skin east coast versus west coast people died over that now i will say this is a double-edged sword i don't know what this bad versus wild is but as a network such as zeus network if we're already promoting and glorifying the destruction of black entertainment in the youth you think it's just gonna stop at the fight you think it's gonna stop at the desirability of a fast-paced lifestyle you think it's gonna stop at the root of all evil for the love of money no, because they've been able for so long to get away with so many things. Yes, they feel like they can push the norms under the rim of reality TV because they've gotten away with so many things. If a girl can get jumped after having a miscarriage allegedly and that's air, then all bets are off. back to my channel I'm back in the video first things first okay, this is my first video that I'm filming since my last two videos I actually filmed some more videos that I filmed before this one but this one's getting posted first because it's just it's more timely um but first of all thank you oh my god thank you for the support thank you to all my new subscribers these past couple of days have been insane for me like just seeing the amount of growth that that I've had in the past couple of days is like it's literally it's literally been insane from me getting to over 17,000 subscribers oh my god to me having a video reach over a hundred thousand views the last video I posted is over 20,000 views now I, when I tell you I was not expecting any of this 
but I, I I'm grateful. I'm thankful. Thank you, everybody that has shown love, shown support, left really kind messages about how my videos resonate with you. Thank you to anybody that went back and watched old videos that I've posted. The support means the world, man. And you know, it's crazy because I was actually in the midst of changing up my content a little bit because you know I had kind of gotten into this period where. I was covering a lot of just like celebrity news and it got very toxic very quickly. And so I was trying to figure out a way to pivot and still cover trending topics, but do it in a way where I'm tackling bigger issues. And I've also been changing up my editing style. You know, normally a lot of my videos is literally just me talking. And sometimes I'll put up like a picture here and there or a screenshot here and there. But for the most part, it was just me talking. And so I've, you know, changed up my editing, changed up the type of content that I made. And, you know, as a content creator, you're always worried about um, changing things on your channel because, you know, people come to your channel for a specific specific reason and so if you try to experiment I try to do something different people might not like it people, people may not you know mess with it and so you know it's just a pleasant surprise to see how well you guys are receiving my content and I feel really good about it now I feel really good about you know what I'm doing the things that I'm talking about and so yeah I just wanted to come on here and acknowledge that and say thank you so much for the support but getting into the mess right so I wanted to talk about the Zeus Networks so for those of y'all who don't know, the Zeus Network is a Black-owned network. It's a streaming service. Same way you have, you know, a Hulu, a Netflix, you have Zeus, right? And Zeus is owned by a Black man named Lamel Plummer. I think I said his name right. Apologies if I did not. But yet, yeah, it's this Black-owned network that has a variety of shows. And it's recently gotten very popular, in my opinion, for the wrong reasons. Basically, a lot of their programming that kind of got them to where they are and got them to have all of these you know subscribers to their network is some of their more toxic programming for those of y'all who are aware of Krishan and Blueface they came out of the Zeus network like a lot of <laughs> a lot of problematic uh people and you know just again toxic programming has come from the Zeus network and they've gotten a lot of backlash about that um you know it, it's been mixed right you know like some people are here for the mess other people not so much and so you know it brought it brought up a lot of discussion about whether or not a platform like Zeus network should exist is it harmful especially harmful to the black community so that's who I'm mostly going to be speaking to um in this video but yeah I wanted to get into that and part of what prompted this video <laughs> is this very 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 problematic flyer that recently came out for an event that they were promoting so Zeus Network in collaboration with Nick Cannon put out a flyer and basically they I guess they had this event in um Las Vegas I believe with some of the cast members from maybe I think it's baddies I think they're all from baddies which is again one of their shows I mean I guess you could say that it's heavily inspired from bad girls club um where you know it's literally just a bunch of girls fighting all the time but essentially I guess they were going to put together this event I don't, I don't even fully understand what this event was supposed to be or what it was supposed to entail but essentially it had people you know from the network on it right and I'm gonna I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on screen I'm gonna put it on screen and as you guys can see the title on this flyer says bad versus wild then underneath it it says dark skin versus light skin and as you can clearly see the people on the left dark skin the bad ones and then you have the the light skins on the right side which are the wild ones and there's so many issues with this first of all I couldn't believe it was real when I first saw it I honestly thought it was fake I'm like now someone Photoshop this to put this together like there's no way this is like an actual flyer that Zeus Network put out and come to find out it was and so of course with all the social media backlash they ended up taking it down and putting up a different one um if I can find the new one I'll I'll put it up but then I also saw like there were some other variations of it so I don't really know what's going on this is December 7th so I'm guessing this this event already happened and it's funny because you know I don't know if they did this for for clicks I don't know if they did this to try and get more buzz around this event but I literally haven't heard anything about this event happening I haven't seen any clips from it haven't heard anything about it all I heard was the backlash in regards to this flyer now 
Now, I have a couple thoughts about this, obviously. First of all, this poster screams colorism. And I honestly cannot believe that this type of poster was even made in the year 2023. I have to ask myself this question all the time. Like, what year are we in? <laughs> what year are we actually in where stuff like this is happening? People are okaying this. And again, not to mention, because it, it, again, it, it all boils back down to it that Zeus Network is run by a black man. And presumably, because I haven't you know, really taking the time to look at, you know, everybody that worked at Zeus Network. But I would assume that with this being a black man and his whole thing being that, you know, we need, you know, content that's made by us for us. I would assume that there are other black people that that work at Zeus Network as well. So it's like, you're meaning to tell me that, you know, this flyer was was looked over and passed through by by several different people, presumably several different black people, and y'all all okayed this and said that this was okay. And so for me, it's like, okay, it's, I, I would, not that I would hope, but I mean, I would hope that it, it they wouldn't be that ignorant and that this was just kind of like a marketing tactic. You know, they knew that people would be outraged about it and it would bring more buzz to it. Granted, that doesn't make it okay. And I think that that's trash to try to profit off of colorism. But I wouldn't be surprised. I don't put nothing past nobody, regardless of what you look like. And so I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Now, what was interesting to me though, right, is that, you know, Nick Cannon was a part of this event. Now, again, I, I saw that they did change the flyer. And so I don't I don't know what the how this event was introduced to everybody. I don't know if it was brought to Nick and brought to the girls as this is gonna be dark skin versus light skin, or if they packaged it a different way to get them on board and then they just ended up putting this distasteful flyer out. But either way, because from what I heard, Nick Cannon had um he had you know promoted and posted the original flyer from what i heard um i can't find any screenshots to back that up but from what i heard nick cannon he did see the flyer and it wasn't until people were angry that he took it down and put up a new one and so i'm definitely side eyeing nick in this case and like i said i i wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt and maybe he didn't know that it was going to be a dark skin versus light skin thing and like I said, I can't find any proof that he posted that initial flyer. So I don't know what he was preview to. I don't know how much of this event he knew about and like that element of it. I mean, obviously it's messy and I don't think that him partnering with Zeus Network for, you know, this type of event is good for his brand at this point. But, you know, I saw a lot of people getting upset with Nick and I do wonder, I do wonder, did they decide to have Nick or another celebrity in partnership with the this event to kind of take the heat off of them because even as I'm looking at this flyer right it literally says Nick Cannon presents and then Zeus Network is at the very bottom corner and so I wonder if even just just to take the heat off of Zeus Network they wanted to have like another name attached to this event I don't know but you still gotta hold Nick accountable regardless I mean this is just definitely in poor taste it doesn't make him look good at all and you know I don't know. And again, I don't know much about Nick Cannon. There were some people saying that this isn't uh, surprising of Nick to play into like these colorist themes. I never known Nick Cannon to be a colorist, but that's just because I don't know much about him. I don't, I, you know, haven't done a deep dive in the things that he said and done. And so, you know, people are saying that he has a history of kind of involving himself in, in things like this and maybe saying things that would insinuate that, that he may be, I, I'm not entirely sure. I I do find it interesting though that Nick got majority of the backlash when I feel like it should have been Zeus Network. Also, you gotta blame the people involved. Again, I don't know what they were previewed to. I don't know if if the girls were told, hey, this is gonna be a, a dark skin versus light skin event. I don't know what they were told. Maybe they were just told, oh, this is just, you know, bad girls versus wild girls. I don't know what they were told, right? But again, it's like, I just feel like everybody involved has to be held accountable. And for them to wanna participate in something like this, I think it's just 
odd. Like I said, I, I'm trying to understand like what the point of this is. Like it just is crazy because all this marketing and promo, like it low key failed because no one is talking about the actual event. They are just talking about the flyer. It's insane. But yeah, honestly, even though you do have to hold everybody accountable at the, at the core, <laughs> the 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 main person that you know that runs all this is Zeus Network. I definitely think that they are most to blame here. This is obviously their programming and more than likely you know it was their idea and at, at this point you really start to question like okay who are we supporting here when i say we i'm speaking in a very general sense obviously if it don't apply let it fly okay <laughs> like if, you, if you're not someone that's subscribed to the zeus network then you know clearly me saying like oh well, why are we supporting this yes it doesn't apply to you specifically but it applies to enough people to where i'm kind of talking about you know us as a whole us us as a collective because it's a lot of us that are you know supporting this type of content but obviously you know it doesn't apply to everybody so please you know if you're not someone that this applies to then just you know disregard that because i'm not i don't support the zoos network i i kid you not i have never ever ever subscribed to the Zeus Network. I already got enough subscriptions that I'm paying for as it is. And Zeus Network just was never a network that stood out to me. And again, this is coming from somebody that watched other toxic shows, which I'm going to get into. But Zeus Network just never stood out to me like that. It wasn't ever something that I really wanted to look at or watch. And I feel like there was enough talk, enough, enough clips online to where I didn't feel like I was really missing anything. You know what I mean? And so it's like, I'm not really here for you know just watching people fight for no reason you know what i mean but yeah it, it brings up the the topic of whether or not zeus network is problematic and should a network like this exist now you know i i do have to address right that zeus network does have other programming they do they do have other program i know a lot of people say like oh zeus network is nothing but a bunch of problematic toxic shows where they're just fighting all the time and it's you know promoting stereotypes zeus network actually does have other programming and i do i do have to call that out now i will put um some of the shows up on screen but as i'm kind of just you know looking at it real quick i mean they they have a lot of like dating shows on here you know they have the the baddie series they have jocelyn's cabaret which i heard did really 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 well they have a few others that you know people may not be as familiar with like they have a show called the conversation um you have doses of drea um i guess it's about her life as a entrepreneur so that's that's something you know that that sounds a little bit more positive but let's keep scrolling through here i just see more like dating shows reality shows the real black china is on here um so yeah so i <laughs> i will say that most most of the programming on here is you know what you see online is you know a lot of fighting a lot of arguing a lot of you know just mess but there are a few other ones like this is one show i also put that up here called the scholarship that seems you know like a, a decent show they they do have other programming so i didn't want to just completely skip over that however obviously you know People don't know about it. People think that Zeus Network is just, you know, baddies. It's just Blueface and Krishan. And I think the reason for that is because, well, it's a few things, right? Um, People can make the argument that that's the only programming that does well on the network. That's the ones that people tune into. It's the ones that have gotten popular because people are choosing to watch it and they're choosing to feed into the type of content. And yes, you know, that that is an element of it. You know, there are some people that just enjoy watching mess. Again, I'm I'm not above that. I've had my fair share of, of messy shows. However, I also think that to be real, Zeus Network doesn't really push their other shows like that. And, you know, yes, do you want to put, you know, most of your marketing towards a product that people resonate with and that's more likely to get engagement? Sure. But I also feel like if they really wanted that balance that they claim that they have, they would also so, you know, push some of these other shows, you know? And so it's like when you have like a baddies and some of these other shows, you know, you're going to see the trailers, right? You see the trailers, you see the promo. There's a lot of promo that goes into a lot of these shows that don't paint us in a good light. And it'd be nice to see them push and promote some of their other shows just to, just to try to find some type of balance on that network. You know what I mean? And so, you know, I don't know. It's, it's 
on one hand, it's the network that's kind of pushing that type of content, but also people are watching it. You can't push a product and you can't push a show if people aren't watching it. And so at the end of the day, if people are tired of Zeus Network and they're tired of that type of programming, they have to stop watching it, you know? And, you know, it, are those type of shows harmful? You know, do they promote negative stereotypes? Do they make our community look bad, you know? Do we care that it makes our community look bad? You know what I mean? Let's talk about how Black reality TV shows are super problematic. I'm sure you all are familiar with Love & Hip Hop and Batty South. And this is entertainment for the Black community for some reason, but I have a problem with this form of entertainment because it paints Black women to be the stereotype that white supremacists have given us all these years. And for some reason, the black community is so accepting of seeing black women literally get on TV and represent us as the ghetto ratchet women who literally fight each other over boys or, you know, dumb stuff that can easily be talked out. And honestly, not here for it. Mm. Say what you want, but Zeus Network, Love & Hip Hop, all those type of TV shows, they're toxic for the black community, specifically black women. And we need to do better in terms of finding better entertainment okay and as i stated earlier zeus network is not the only one to create toxic shows i mean hello love and hip-hop is one i was a religious watcher of love and hip-hop you know i enjoyed the mess but i also will say too um even though i probably shouldn't have been I was watching a little bit of hip hop in like middle school and high school, right? And so of course, as a kid, I'm thinking like, oh, this is prime time entertainment, you know? But as I got older and especially when I went to college, I fell off from a lot of reality TV. I used to be a reality TV junkie. Like I used to, like if it was reality TV, I was watching it. I didn't care what network it was on. I was watching everything from Jersey Shore, uh, Married at First Sight, Real Housewives, Married to Medicine, Marriage Boot Camp. I was, if it was reality TV, I was watching it. Uh, Teen Mom, I was watching all, I was obsessed. Cause you know, I don't know. It's just something about, you know, wanting to know what goes on in people's lives, right? And so I, I was hooked. But as I've gotten older, I fell off from a lot of that. I don't even really watch reality TV like that anymore. I watch YouTube mostly, which you could argue is a lot of a uh, reality-based content, depending on who you watch, obviously. But yeah, so I'm not gonna sit up here and act like I haven't been, you know, watching Love and Hip Hop and shows where they, where they fight, and where they have conflict and where, you know, people may not be shown in the best light. Um, But I also think that there was like a kind of sort of, of a balance, right? You still had that realness. You still had authentic stories that came through. And also, you know, this is just my personal opinion. I feel like when people fight on Zeus Network, it's like for no reason. Like they're just fighting just to fight. And that doesn't entertain me. That doesn't, that doesn't grab me just seeing people fight for no reason. I feel like at least on Love and Hip Hop, especially in the early days, when people fought, it was for a reason. Like there was some, some purpose behind why they were fighting each other. I feel like on Zeus Network, it's just like, okay, y'all, y'all just go, y'all just go fight. Like I feel like there's, there's, I mean, I'm sure there's like petty arguments that happen here and there but i feel like it's expected of them to fight at least i love the hip-hop they try to act like they don't promote violence <laughs> even though violence has shown a lot on that show too yeah i i don't know it's just it's it's a lot right and so i understand why a lot of people you know don't mess with zeus network and like i said i've never supported the network and i don't think i ever will especially after seeing a flyer like this like i just i just can't bring myself to do it and so you know should a network like zeus network exist i'm all here for black owned content right and i think the argument too that especially the owner zeus network kept making was that listen these shows are going to get made they're going to continue to make shows about us fighting and fussing and whatever but why not we own that content because for so long it'll be argued that these white owned companies are profiting off of black people and our drama and our you know ups and downs and so i guess his whole thing was like you know if it's going to be put out there anyway why not put it on a network that's black owned and that actually pays everybody well and to my understanding the people that are on these shows whether they're, they're fighting <laughs> on camera or even the people that work behind the scenes apparently everybody's getting paid well masala because you're an executive producer on shows on um baddies bad boys <laughs> and krishan and blue faces show and i i do i do feel like lemmy gives that opportunity to everyone to come in i i know for a fact people are making more money at zeus network 
and I'm not just saying me or, or the other executives, I'm talking about all the talent than anywhere else. And so I guess that's this whole thing is like, you know, why not just keep all that money within the black community, which I get, I get that, right? And as much as we all love to sit up here and act like we just want all of this, like, you know, positive and educational content, a lot of us enjoy watching mess <laughs> here and there. And so I, I'm not going to sit up here and say that, like, you can't have any shows or any programming that's like that because again some people enjoy the mess they enjoy the reality tv mess but i think it's important to have a balance i think it's important to you know you, you might have your your quote-unquote ratchet content but then you also have some of your other uh more positive content and i i do wish that they would push more of that i mean you know drea is very well known for basketball wise and she has a show on there that's well it looked like they only had one season for her but i would have liked for her to or them to have pushed her more with her show, you know what I mean? Um, Even with Black China's show, I feel like Black China's show, from the clips that I saw, was, you know, very real, very authentic. I would love to see more, more of that from them, you know? That would get me to tune into their network, not <laughs> what they got going on now. And so, yeah, I, I just, I don't know, I'm conflicted about whether or not that type of programming should even exist, you know? Again, we're not all a monolith, and as much as people would love to sit up here and say that they just you know we shouldn't have any of that content out there everything should just be positive and should just put us in a in a positive light again we're not a monolith if you want to know what a motherfucking boss looks like bitch you looking at one a bitch that handles big business y'all some ghetto ass bitches trashy ass hoes you wonder why i be by myself zeus network isn't under the category of education and fucking right. science this it's <laughs> literally entertainment which right. means that if you're looking at this as inspiration then you personally have to go read a book right. put down zeus network go right. unsubscribe mm -hmm. and go read a book and mm -hmm. actually educate yourself go fucking open up disney mm -hmm. and, and go do that like <laughs> you do have folks out here that you know fighting and, and getting into mess but then you also have like the, the dating shows right I, I don't know how much fighting they do on the on dating shows like i know like typically you know they, they might fuss and you know get into arguments but i don't know how much like physical fighting is happening on you know the, the dating shows that you know have happened on there but i, I don't know I, I just feel like at this point especially with this whole flyer situation zeus network needs to do something they need to do something because i feel like they're gonna lose a lot of support after this and i just feel like if they don't do something to balance out the toxicness and the negative stereotypes i see people getting tired of zeus network um sooner than later and so i definitely think they need some different programming um and they overall just need to like i don't know for me it's just like again i'm all here for a black owned business and a black owned company but i i just feel like for you to have that much success in this field i just would want to do better i just would want to have something better to show for it as opposed to just people fighting on a tv show you know what i mean and then this light skin versus dark skin event like that's what you want your your network that you work so hard to build to be known for like i just would want better for my business and my company and my people you know what i mean and so you know i, I think there's a balance to everything i don't think everything needs to be cookie cutter and super positive all the time right now i think that zeus is definitely leaning more towards like the toxic side of, of everything and they're extremely extremely problematic and i i just feel like they're they're doing more damage thing than good at this point and i think that they definitely need to course correct and maybe even rebrand because i think pe people are getting tired like especially when they're being force fed blueface and krishan all the time that's why i never covered them on my channel and i don't think i ever will unless they do something that prompts like a, a deep topic on my end i don't even want to cover them because they get shoved in our faces every single freaking day and it's like i i just i think people are just getting tired they're getting tired of seeing the same thing they're, they're tired of just the toxicity of it all they're just tired they want something different people want something different and i feel like they have the money
money and the resources and the people to give us something different and so i'm hoping that you know going into 2024 even if they don't you know in baddies anytime soon they need to bring something else and they also need to make sure that this this flyer situation doesn't happen again because that's literally insane like i really want to know like who was involved in creating that and thinking that that was okay and if nick cannon saw that and approved that and if the girls saw that and approved that then again that's just more problematic because it's just like i just i just can't get over that like who does that like who in 2023 puts a flyer out putting two groups of people against each other based off of their skin tone in 2023 like i just don't i don't get it (laughs) i don't get it and so yeah i wouldn't be surprised if zeus takes a really big negative hit from something like that because that that just was not okay that was not okay at all to put something out there like that and the people that were involved that were okay with that i i just yeah man i i don't know it's just sad it's really sad to see but yeah i think that's all i had to say um on this topic let me know your thoughts in the comments down below about how you feel about the flyer let me know how you feel about the zeus network let me know if you've ever subscribed to the zeus network you know are you someone that frequently frequently watches their content and if so how do you feel about their content let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and if you enjoyed this video make sure you guys go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next video